Hi guys, thanks for joining me for another Affinity Designer tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to use the pen tool um, right after this. Okay, so before we get started, I want to tell you that um, you need to look in the description if you want to download this and you can work along. Okay. So here I have a verse from the Bible, Psalm 92.1, and it's just uh, something I uh, wrote out, and I'm turning into vector. So I've already turned to give and the little arrow into vector. So if I turn the background off, it just says to give. And um, so I've already done that with the pin tool. Now the pin tool is very helpful in outlining and creating um, random shapes. To create um, very orderly and symmetric shapes, you just click here and you'll find a bunch of different shapes. You'll find a bunch of different shapes that will um, work for you. But um, this is just the pin tool is just for abnormal shapes. So. Um, I'm going to explain what all these things do up here. And so I'm going to um, show you two different ways you can use the pin, pull, pin tool. So I'm going to zoom up here. I'm going to start outlining these words. Um, so to um, determine which mode you need to be on, um, you need to determine like what you are outlining or what you're going to be drawing with the pen tool. Um, I'm going to be drawing stuff with with like no curves. These This style of lettering has like no curves except for the S and um, that's all. So um, there's different modes up here that you can click on. This one is um, the pin mode is just if you click down you'll find um, one of those square square nodes and then if you drag it'll create um, a circle node so that's what this this mode g does this mode is for just um, they're called smart nodes so you bring it over here and you can drag it around and that's helpful you can also I forgot to tell you you can also um, drag it around with these things too but you have to hit command and then select it again and drag it around so that's something that's useful I think <clears throat> so then there is the polygon mode and this mode is for no curves at all you just draw it around something that's what I'm going to use for the um, letters here. And then there's one more mode. This is segment mode. It's just for one segment and then it stops. Then you don't have to hit this up here, which will um, break break the curve and um, that so that you can keep doing it, keep drawing more. Okay, so we're just going to be using the polygon mode. So as I draw around here just try to do well. Now I'm a, as I'm drawing around here I see that there's a fill that's being on. You can turn off the fill by using either clicking here and clicking none or by using this um, use fill. You can uncheck this and it won't use the fill. Okay let's continue. As you can see, these are um, snapping to places of other nodes. The reason it's doing that is because I have all these snap functions on. So you can um, click on the different ones that you want on. And uh, so I have all of them on, so it's snapping. So I can easily find out um, a good symmetric and straight uh, use good symmetric and straight lines 
So now that I've gotten to here, all I need is one more line segment. To do to connect both of them, all I have to do is click on this close curve and it will close the curve and there you go. Now you can um, turn this off and you've got your T. You can always um, edit it with the node tool. Click on the T. You can always edit it. Drag these over a little bit, and you can edit it and make it however, make it look however you want. Um, so that's basically the basics of the pin tool. And then um, there's also a few more features here. Let's say I'm gonna create um, something that is curved. So if I turn this background on again and I go over to the yes and I start making this round and do this I'm just gonna um, stop there for the, for time's sake but um, this is um, since there's a curves and curves in here I can I can click the smooth tool and it will add more curves to make it even more smooth and you can click on that a few times and change it then also this little arrow is if you click on this node here you can click on this and you'll be able to adjust it with the node tool you'll be able to adjust it instead of having to click on different things um, and you click on this and it will um, show you where the first curve is and and then there's also um, different actions you can do you can convert this to a sharp node a smooth node or a smart mode a smart node sorry so um, that's all the different things up here let me see Yep, that's um, all the different things up here. Um, so you got the use fail, snap, and then there's uh, fail. You can click on this and your swatches, color, gradient. You can use gradients in this and you can ob obviously use that in other ones. So then there's stroke too and that's basically it has the exact same thing as fill except it's for um, stroke color and stuff then there's the the stroke panel and I have a tutorial on this and how to use it but one important thing I want to show you today is that when you're re rescaling your stuff and you're drawing outlines usually uh, drawing outlines with this you're going to want to select this scale with object. Make sure you do that because if you do not, it will not scale with object and it will look really bad. You can tell it's super thin um, to the ratio of how big it is. So make sure you keep that in mind and then you don't have to go back and manually um, manually bring up the width. Okay, so there's also different, um, like up here, if I wanted to make this a f like not just an outline, but uh, but like a fill, you just come over here to your pen tool, start going around here, drawing. Okay, that's just a real quick thing. You can turn on the fill and make it the inside so make it just this shape right here turn on the fill or you can select the use fill over here and the fill is going to be black and I'm going to select the use fill and you're going to have to put that on top of the background so that's helpful for doing small things like this and um, 
obviously this is sort of wobbly and not good for this that eye but we you can always change it so thanks for watching this tutorial I hope it helped you out uh, quite a bit and um, please comment if you have any questions or if you have an idea for tutorials I can make and please give me a like I'm trying to see how many likes I can get on this video and I hope you'll join me next time for another Affinity Designer tutorial.